Glory to God. I know. I'm a testimony to that. Amen. And okay. right this time, we're going to turn our hands over to our Pastor Carl Mitchell with the yeah. words of amen. 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 Right. Let's say amen. Let us stand on our feet as we get ready to get a word from the man, man of God. Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 There is a word from the Lord. We're going to just give God the praise and all the honor today. So let's receive you by the hearty. Amen. 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 Glory. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank God. We thank God. I, I don't know. It just seems a little quiet. Yeah. I know ain't that many of us in here and ain't that many online. But while we're here, yeah. Yeah. I, I remember somebody, a brother, saying, I was glad when they said unto me, yeah. Yeah. let us go. How many are glad to be in the house of the Lord right now? Yeah. How many are glad that God woke you up this morning, yeah. right now? Yeah. Unless you're a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're alive. Yes, man. You're blessed. Yeah, man. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. Yeah, you're blessed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you yeah. are blessed. Somebody. Yeah. There's many people right now that are on their last yeah. breath when they think they are. Yeah. There's many people right now that are mourning their loved ones. Yeah. See on the house a day almost every day and you know home down south almost every day. People are leaving from here. Yeah. But yet you're still here. Yeah. You have an opportunity. Somebody ought to say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God is up to something. Man. Amen. Amen. Man. He deserves your praise. Man. He deserves your glory. Man. Amen. I, I thank God for on yesterday we were shooting a television show. And uh, it was going and going and going and going and going and going. And going. Movie all behind you know, go over there, be busy, go fix that old justice over here. And, and, and I got to remind myself that I'm, I'm not 25 no more. <laughs> I got to remind, my body reminds me, for me, that this thing is temporary. Temporary. So temporary. It's temporal. Amen. So I thank God. If nobody else will say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. If nobody else can say thank you, Jesus. I say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All glory, all the honor belongs to you for you kept me. Thank you. In spite of myself. Amen. 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 I ain't mean to stay on that, but the Holy Spirit said somebody need to praise God. Amen. 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 We thank God we honor uh, the father of this house and this season. Amen. A man of God as he gave me kudos. I always have to give him kudos. Y'all think it's because it's my uncle. It's because God called him Amen. to do a work. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I thank God for the attic. That, yeah. That's the gravy. Yeah. Family, the blood that we share is the gravy on top of the anointing that God has put on the Father yeah. of this house. Amen. For this season, we ought to say thank you. Thank you. We ought to say hallelujah. hallelujah. How much drama do we have in the house? Amen. None. Amen. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. hallelujah. How much craziness do we have in the house? Hallelujah. Somebody ought to say thank you. Thank you. Amen. We're not honoring just the man, but yeah. we're honoring the God that's in the man. Yeah. For what is in a man comes out of a man. We shall know them by their fruits. And we give honor to the God that's in the man of God. The man of God. We give honor to the God that's in the man. Because if you're in the church, I ain't bashing nobody. Lord, bless I got to say what God says. Let's say it. And, and your question. The church does not exist without you. You that are online, those that can see. It doesn't exist without you. People complain about a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. But we need to do more than we complain. We are empowered. The church doesn't exist unless you get, unless you show up. If you're in a place where you're not sure, pray about it. There's a house available to you. 
Somebody gonna say, uh, Pastor Mitchell trying to steal folks? No, 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 no. But if you're questioning, Right. Seek God. Yeah. Don't get so stuck on your brain. Yeah. I've been yeah. Bible way the organization my whole life, from yeah. birth to now. Yeah. The organization. Yeah. Yes, but if they cut up, no offense, Apostle. I love them. I just talked to him recently. He prayed for me and all that. Then I got to go. Yeah. If this house, home, is born literally here in yeah. this house, yeah. we start having, you know, rainbow winds. <laughs> And, and, and we start having booty shaking parties, yes, and then I got, if I can't change it, I got to go. Right. Either we're influencers right. or we will be influenced. Yes, Amen. 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 So once again, I thank God for the man of God, Amen. for the God that's in him and his leadership yes. in this season. Amen. For we're going in a direction that God has set forth, yes. set in place, and yes. has enabled. Amen. And he's giving the provision that we need yeah. to do what thus saith the Lord in this yeah. season. Yeah. And this, I keep saying in this season because this is a crazy yeah. season. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Amen. But I don't want to go too far without praying. Amen. How I many know that we start, we end, we yeah. finish yeah. with yeah. prayer? Yeah. With yeah. prayer. Yeah. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. You have feet to stand. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, our yes. Father who art in heaven, yes. hallowed be your holy name. Thank you, God. Your yes. kingdom is God, 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 God. Yes. Your will Hallelujah. is being done, even right yes. now. Yes. Lord, we want to be in your favor yes. and not at fault. Yes. We want to be corrected yes. by you, O oh Lord, and humble enough yes. to receive yes. the correction. Yes. Lord, Hallelujah. set forth the direction yes. that you would have us go. Yes. Lord, let us be not only Thank hearers, you. but doers of your word, not my word, but your word. As a matter of words of my mouth glory, and the meditations of my heart, be acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Mm. We thank you for your loving kindness, for your grace and mercy that set us free. For we were captive of our own mind. We were captive of our own circumstance. But who the Son sets free, uh, uh, hey, shut up, boy. Uh, is free uh, indeed. Yes, so in the name of Jesus, free yeah, now, yeah. right now, yeah. right uh, now. by your spirit, right now, God. by your blood, yeah. 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 right now, by your blood, oh God, yeah. we claim it done. Yes. Yes. We claim it done. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. Yeshua Hamashiach, yeah. Jesus of Nazareth, yeah. cross, who knows his name, yeah. we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Somebody ought to say amen. Amen, amen. I thank God again for this day. We're not going to hold you long, as the preacher would say. Uh, but I thank God for the opportunity to come before his people. Uh, you're not my people, you're his people. Amen, amen, amen. You're not my people, you're his. And because you're his, we have the responsibility. The fellowship in his word. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word of God. Thank God for an awesome time on this past week in Bible study. Amen. How many enjoyed that? Amen. Oh, yes. It was a wonderful, amen. wonderful, wonderful time. We thank God for the prayer on Saturday. Amen. I was working and getting ready to go do TV and listening to the prayer line too. It almost messed me up. <laughs> Uh, Sister Marie, Evangelist Marie went in, amen, amen. Uh, and, and did an awesome, awesome job. And of course, we thank God for the Monday hotline to heaven. That's right. Amen. amen. 7 p.m. I'm mentioning all these things as we didn't have the program today and we're posting it on a single page. And I'm not going to go over the details, but we're progressing. Amen. And the world talks about progression, progression, but it doesn't ever tell you where it's progressing to. I'll tell you where we're progressing to. It's glory. Amen. Amen. We're progressing to the glory of God. So I thank God for all of our wonderful service, yeah. all of our wonderful ministers, yeah. deacons, yeah. brothers, yeah. sisters, mothers, yeah. all those that are connected with this ministry and all those uh, that want to be, yeah. want to be. If you're in Texas, you can be a member of Bible Way. If you're right. in Tokyo, yeah. amen. Yeah. We realize, because I yeah. see those little uh, insights, 
and people all over the world, and we thank God for God's word says that we're to go into the world, all Man, the world, all the world, and all the world. Amen. We thank God for you. You can fellowship with us here at the house, uh, both online or in person. Uh, you can go on the free conference call and download it if you have a smartphone or device. And you'll be able to hear and or see, amen, what thus saith the Lord through his people, to amen. his people, amen. amen. So fellowship with us. Fellowship with us. You already heard how to give. Give. God puts it on your heart. Give. Give. Amen. Why not? It's more blessed to give. You. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying my best to hold on to the testimony until God can uh, release it for me. But I'll tell you this. I have a mentor that I've had most of my life in the ministry, even before I was in ministry. Most of you all know him. And i come to find out as he's, uh, you know, ailing a little bit now, and he's of age, uh, his net worth. I always wondered why this man of God was always so giving, giving, give, 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 give in Jesus' name. Amen. Why was he always, I mean, above and beyond? Uh, I, I, I'll tell this testimony as we were transitioning my father into extended care because he needed care in Wilmington. I got stuck in Wilmington, North Carolina with my mom and my dad. Amen. <laughs> and I was supposed to actually be here. And I uh, called uh, this person and shared with them uh, the circumstance and, you know, pray and whatnot. And, uh, he said, uh, call the church. His church. Church leader pastors yet to this day uh, and tell them to send you $1,500. I didn't ask him for not a dime, not a dime. He said, call the church, tell them I said, hey, amen. amen, send you 15, wire. I was like, okay. You know, obedience is better than what? <laughs> I was so uncomfortable <laughs> calling the church uh, that I don't attend. But the man of God, when he's blessed, when we are blessed, we can be a blessing. So I always wonder, I come to find out this man is worth, I almost want to tell his business because some people want to figure it out. A lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. But the reason isn't because he's selfish. The reason is because he's a giver. Somebody say giver. Giver. When we give, we get. It's more blessed, this isn't even a text, but it's more blessed to give than it is to receive That's because right. God can trust us with so much more. That's right. So I thank God for the Father again of this house. I thank God for the person that I'm talking about, I almost said his name. Uh, I thank God for Elder Mitchell, my grandfather, uh, Elder Bruce, my uncle. I thank God for all the wonderful men of God, Elder Bishop Ladder, uh, all the people that have sown into our lives and mine personally when I thought that I wasn't going to be this. All those things, I, I remember I was sitting over there and I'll get on to the text. And I was quite young. And uh, Bishop Key, Lord, uh, <laughs> he was uh, speaking. And I don't know how many remember Bishop Key. I remember. Yeah, yeah John P. Key's uncle. Uh, my former pastor's uncle. Nevertheless, he called me out. <laughs> because, you know, he wanted me to, to say something. I'm thinking to myself, I, I couldn't have been with 13, something like that. I'm like, man. He said, come here. <laughs> Just like you, know, if you know Bishop Keith, like, come here. And I got the microphone. I had no idea that, um, let's see, that's over 30 years later, I'll be right here. <laughs> <laughs> Doing what does say of the Lord. It's not about me. But when we fellowship, amen, when we give what God has given us, when we yeah. share, when we operate in the spirit of love and God's authority, as Jesus did when he was here, Amen. we end up blessing people. Don't be scared Amen. to do what God That's has right. called That's you. Right. Let me say that. Don't be scared to do what God has called you to do. Yeah. Amen. There's a blessing behind that. Yeah. Or a lesson for your disobedience. Yes, yes. But nevertheless, we're going to go to the word of God. I know I could go on and on and on, but I, I just thank God thank God for his awesome blessings. I thank God for, again, what he's doing in this house. I thank God for what he's doing in my own life. Some things that I haven't been released to share just yet. But God is moving by his spirit. You can see a smile on my face. Amen. When we do it his way, his way. First Chronicles chapter 4. How many have their Bibles? Chapter 4. Amen. Verse 9 and 10. Amen. Some of you all might know this by memory. 
you have it, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And it reads, and Jabez more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called him Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. She went through something to bring him into this world. Amen. How many know about going through something? Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. 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 I went through something to get here today. My back, I tell you, my physical killing me. But I have to be here. God birthed this circumstance. And 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. Say, oh, that thou would do what? Bless, bless me. Mm. Oh, would thou bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. Mm. Enlarge my territory. Mm -hmm. And that thine hand might be with me and that thou wouldest keep me from evil. My God. And then thou would keep me. She didn't want to be just blessed. I almost want to stop there. But she wanted to be kept. How many know that more money, more problems? Amen. Yeah, I quoted Biggie on the pulpit, show did. Yeah. More money, more problems. The more you're blessed, the more things come at you. Yeah. The enemy wants to attack you. Keep me from evil, that it may not grieve. I mean, you know that the blessings of the Lord come without what? How many know? Amen. I want to hear you say, come without what? Repentance. Sorrow. Right. Uh -huh. And God granted him that which he requested. It, it leads me to the thought that we have not because we ask. Mm -hmm. We have not because we ask. What are the conditions of our increase? What are the conditions of what it is that your hearts desire? For the word of God says that God will give us our hearts desire. But the word of God also says, who can know a man's heart? It is deceitful in all its ways. What are the conditions of our increase? I keep saying that, that the title of, of this text that we're going through uh, is, is called Upgrade. Actually, this is about the third version of the same. The conditions of what we ask for, we have to consider more so than what we ask for. Amen? Amen. Amen. I want a wife. I want some money. Yeah. I want a new house. I want, I want, I want, I want. What are the conditions of what we desire? Jabez had wisdom. King Solomon had wisdom to ask not only for one thing, but to want to receive, to have a heart receive even more. The preparation, the condition of our upgrading is more important than the upgrade itself. Right now, I got it in my pocket. Show you. Thank God for the examples. I love God, as we said on Bible study, because his word is true. And he uses analogies. But right now, this wonderful thing called an iPhone, this is not an iPhone commercial because I don't like it. <laughs> I prefer the Samsung uh, Android. Right now, I need to get an upgrade. But before I can get an upgrade to this wonderful cracked glass back phone, make no sense to me. I don't know why they don't make the back glass. Uh, but nevertheless, in order to get a newer one, I have to get into the conditions of my upgrade. You follow? Me? If I don't know the conditions of my upgrade and I don't care to even consider the conditions of my upgrade, then the devil's in the details. Yeah, you set yourself up to be uh, taken advantage of. Man. 
when you were more focused on getting that new, what's the new phone? Because you know it? iPhone X11, something I don't know what it is. Yeah. But when you focus on that, ooh, it's beautiful. Look what it does. 3D camera and oh, I got a terabyte of Lord have mercy. I, I want it, I want it, I want it. Oh, don't worry about the paperwork. I'll sign. I want this. I'm looking at this. My paperwork over there, but I'm looking, ooh, yeah, I want it. But I'm not considering the conditions that tied me to three years of service. It made sure that I can't go nowhere else. To make sure I can't upgrade this no more when it's antiquated and out of date. What are the conditions of our upgrade? Uh -huh. Amen. Jabez had wisdom enough to pray a prayer Man. that covered not only the blessing of the expansion of the territory, Amen. but also the evil that he knew was coming with. Yeah. Man. When we grow, Notice I didn't say if. When we grow, when this house becomes full again, when there's a thousand and a half people online, amen, amen watching what thus saith the Lord from this pulpit. Mm -hmm. yeah. When we grow, there's more people. Yeah. There'll be more tithes and offerings. Yeah. Hallelujah. There'll be more programs in the house. Yeah. Right, right. But there'll be more people in the house. Yeah. That's why right now we're focusing in this house on the operations, the preparation for the inevitable blessing yes. as we expand God's kingdom. Thank you. Our job here is to increase in Him Come on, so that He'll increase in us. Yes. But if we're not ready for it, Come on. we're asking for trouble. Amen. Amen. We'll be ruled by the world if holiness, which is next to godliness, is not the mantra of whatever we do in this house. Then it'll be worldliness. Yes. Next to money. Watch out. Say that. Instead of God. Yes. 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 He's scared to say, well, I'm, I got to say it. God, the Spirit of the Holy, the Holy Spirit can fix me to speak truth to power. Worldly power. Yes. Because worldly power ain't got nothing on God. Amen. But if I'm scared, because of what people might think. Uh -huh. How their sin may be offended. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Then I, I'm, I'm going to be sending people to hell. I have blood on my hands. Yeah, That's the word. That's the word. We have to speak true. God's truth. Not the world's truth. Yeah. God's justice. Yeah. You hear about social justice. What is social justice? Somebody's going to get mad at yeah. Social justice is our justice. But if it don't line up. With God's yeah. justice. Mm. What good is it? That's right. It's adjusted by what they say uh, instead of what he says. Amen. That's like electing a pastor. We wouldn't do that here. I'm not going to go through that. But people will elect who they want. Who elected Jesus? Come on. Who elected Moses? Who elected Aaron? Yeah, Come on. God did. God did. He anointed, he appoints, uh, he yeah. enables. But I don't want to hear this. Yes. God said, be holy, for I am holy. Yes. We have to be holy. Holy. So that we're prepared for the evil yes. that comes with our expansion. You know what? Thank God for his word. I thank God yeah, for it. Yeah, so, yes. Because it's so true. It's so true. It's uncomfortably true. Yes. Because we become comfortable in our acceptance of each other. Amen. If I wore a big old pink bow tie and had a floppy hat, y'all think I lost my mind. You would. Think I, oh, Pastor Carl, something wrong with him. <laughs> you know, I, I had some, some y'all seen them long gators? One with the long toe. I mean, I, I don't think I lost my mind. We do things to be acceptable to each other, to be comfortable to each other. But what are we doing? To be acceptable, holy and acceptable unto God. What are we saying? Mm. In a loving kindness. To be acceptable unto him. Thank you. Psalms 51 and 10. I'm not going to be here too long. I know it's a hard word. Preach, I know, preach. I know, I know, I know. It was hard to me. Y'all don't understand in this position. When you're in ministry of any sort of evangelist, I don't care. Anybody that speaks 
If you study your word before you speak your word, guess who it can mix first? Me. <laughs> so if it's uncomfortable to you, I don't know if it made me feel any better. It's uncomfortable to me too. Amen. Psalms 51 to 10. If you got it, say amen. In context, starting at 7. Purge me. Purge me. With, with his son. Yes, sir. Y'all know this. And I shall be what? Be clean. clean. Lord, have mercy. Wash me. Wash. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And I shall be whiter, whiter than snow. Make me hear, make me to hear joy and gladness <laughs> that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sin. Mm -hmm. Come on. And blot out blot mine out. iniquities. Oh, my. my favorite part. I know I said it here before, but God's word is true. Ten. Create in me Create a clean heart. Me. Yes. Oh God. Oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. Yes, yes. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. From me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation, of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy right, with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgress. Then will I teach. Then will I teach transgressors thy way, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. We're cleansed by the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Not to justify ourselves. Not to make us feel holier than thou. Mm. It's the preparation for our upgrade. What is our goal? What are we looking for? Mm -hmm. Are we looking for the kingdom of God and his righteousness? And then seeing all the conditions of our upgrade. Mm -hmm. Kingdom righteousness. Mm -hmm. then, then all those wonderful new features <laughs> in us. But not for us. Man. That's the catch. Thank you, God. I'm not clean so I can tell you I'm clean. Look at me. I'm clean. Ooh, I look good, don't I? Look at me. Look at me. No. Mm. See Jesus through me. Yeah. If you don't see Jesus through me, yeah. you're deceived. Come on, come on, come on. You're deceived. I got that boast. Because when I fall, you fall. Yeah. Man. They don't not be. That's right. They don't not be. If you've got a good picture. If you got a good leader, yeah. man of God, yeah. he should send you to. That's him. right, that's right. Man. Not me. Thank you, God. When you bless the man of God, you bless God. Yeah. Oh, that sounds hard. Yeah. But what does the word say? Come on, man. When you bless the man of God, you bless God. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, that's, that's right. Cool. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And uphold me with thy free yes, spirit. Yes. Paid for. Yes. Calvary's cross. Amen, amen. Free. That sets us free yes, from the bonds and bondages of the conditions of the world. Sets us free from the circumstances that we see day to day. Sets us free uh -huh. from the brutality that we talk about from day to day. Sets us free even from the cultural mores that tell us that we're less than. Come on. When God says that we're more than conquerors. Yes, yes. Through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. The Son sets free. Yes. It's free indeed. Thank Who the Son you. sets free yes. is free indeed. Yes. Who the Son sets free. Yes. Are you free? Yes. Thank you. Are you free? Mm -hmm. Or are you still bound? Say that, preacher. If yeah. you wake up every morning upset at the news, you're bound. Yeah. You're not free. That's what's feeding you. I almost say stop watching the news until you get more word in. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Yeah. What's feeding you? What's feeding you? The enemy wants you to be in your emotions. Mm. Wants you to stay there. But the Bible says be angry and sin not. Yeah. Don't let the sun go down on your The devil wants you to be lustful into your phone and all pornography. Say it. Say it. <coughs> Say it. 
Say it. trying to get me to cough, but I'm going to say it again. The devil wants you to be yeah. lustful. That's right. That's and then right. to pornography. Yeah. That Don't know if I can right. shake your right hand or your left hand. Don't want to shake your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Oh, yeah, I said it. Yeah. Addictions yeah, addiction. of the world. Yes. Huh? Yes, God. Send us straight to a burning hell, not yes. made for us. That's right. But God said, Thank God you. said, Hallelujah. Created me. Thank you, God. Clean heart. Clean oh, heart. <coughs> yes, God. When we accept Christ, there's a renewal that takes place. Yes. Man. There's a renewal that takes place. We become brand new. The Word of God says that we're new creatures yeah. in Christ Jesus. The word of God tells us that we shall have power after the Holy Spirit has come. The word of God, as we read, says that we'll become white as snow. White as snow. All right. now, I don't know about you. Yes. But because I'm free, I can tell you about my slavery. Yes. Days. I wasn't always free. Yes. I wasn't always clean. Yes. I was filthy. Yes. I was filthy. Amen. But God freed me. Yes, God. When a man of God can't tell you his testimony, there's something wrong. There's That's something wrong. right. Say that. Say there's that. something still holding on, grasping. Yes. You don't want to get too close to you so you can smell his breath. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I, I was fellowshipping with a, a brother. And a lot of people, again, we can talk about this Wednesday, and I'm about to get on to the end. Take scripture out of context to justify themselves. Amen? Amen. So that they can discount the word of God and stay in the sin that they're in. All right. We all have selective sins. Yes. Paul said, I die dead. Mm -hmm. Man, how can that man of God die dead mm -hmm. to sin? What was he doing? That's what our human mind says. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have to die daily to sin so that we can share the testimony of the glory of God. Amen. So that we can teach the transgressors thy way mm -hmm. and sinners can be what? Converted. converted. They're not converted by my words. Wonderful words. Thank God for a good education. I thank God for my mother recently going on to glory and she went with a smile. I tell you, I know people expect you to be sad. I am. I miss my mother dearly. I've never seen nobody leave here so happy. Ever in my life. And I've seen a lot of that. Never seen nobody leave here happy. Done her job. For Christ, her, her last words to me. For Christ I live. For Christ I die. Bless him. Hmm. Are we ready to leave from here? Are you ready right now? Yes. Have you done your job? Yes, sir. Are you clean? Thank you, God. Have you been able to teach transgressors? Yes, yes. Setting the captive free? Yes. Sir. Are you free to share your testimony? Thank you. To yes. the glory of Thank you. Yeah. I was getting into it before I talked about my mother just stopped me. But uh, depression, question. It's nothing worse even for a man, even women, to feel inadequate in themselves. To have failed relationships. Yes, to have children out of wedlock. Thank you. Yeah. Things that the world would condemn and God you. says, I love you. Yes. I love you. I love you. Thank you. I love you yes. just the way you are. Don't mean I want you to stay there. That's, That's not right. what that means. Amen. Gospel of inclusion. I keep hitting on that because I see so much of it. Yes, God. It's wrong. God wants us to change. Why would he change you and then keep you in what's killing you? Why would he do that? That's not love. Love doesn't keep you hurting. Love doesn't keep you yeah. in bondage. People talk about the Emancipation Proclamation and we just celebrated Juneteenth. But do you really know what happened? Those people in Texas were free way before they ever knew they were free. That's right, that's right. That's what happened. The reason why we celebrate Juneteenth almost three months after the act is because they didn't have the connection to know what went on at the coast. That's right. <laughs> People that were free still living in bondage. Yeah. Mm. Are we free or are we still living in bondage that God has set us free from? Yes, God. Yes, God. Based on the conditions of the world. Yes. Have
have you paid attention to the mm, conditions of your upbringing? Yes, Lord. We need to be created brand new. Yes, we We're saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes. We should be new. Yes. We should be different. Yes. We should be peculiar. Praise people. Nephew, praise. Different, Hallelujah. not the same. Yes. Different, not the same. Say that, say that. Hey, man. Yes. Different. Uh -huh. Stop trying to be what the world wants you to be. Yes. And yes. call yourself saved. Yes. All right, watch out now. Jeez. Stop trying to be what the world says. What the world says is love. They say right now, love is love. Yes. But they are talking about a love that would send you directly to hell. According to God's word, it's an abomination before God. Yes. That's not love. Thank you, God. Love Thank is not pain. Love is not demonic. Yes. Come on now. Love's not going to cause you to be angry all the time. That's right. Love will give you that stupid smile that people accuse me of having all the time. <laughs> love is what God did when he was incarnated into flesh as a man. Yes. When he gave the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, yes. Yes. He shed his blood for me and you so that we would only have an opportunity. Thank you, God. Thank you. Love doesn't force you. That's what I close on. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It doesn't force you to do something you don't want to do. As a matter of fact, the Word of God says he turned them over to themselves. Yes, sir. Thank you, you don't have to get saved. Jesus. But there's circumstances. You don't. God could easily, because he created us, say, all y'all say, all y'all say, come on, let's go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what did he do? He died. He died for people that don't deserve it. People that he purposed. Are you, a, are you prepared right now, right where you are, no matter where you are, to allow your sin to die. To allow your flesh to die. Allow it to so die. that God can cleanse you. Yes, God. Yes. Are you ready yeah. to be humble yeah. so God can use you? Yeah, right, yeah, God. If my people who yes. are called by my name, are you ready to be called by him? Yes. If, if, he didn't say my people, he said if my people who yeah. are called by my name would humble themselves yes. if you would do that yes. if you would don't think it's guaranteed don't think that don't let preachers take your money and try to pay you into heaven yeah. don't let no mm. Mm. don't let no preacher take your money on, and try to on. pay you into heaven yeah. on, the word of God says if my people who were called by my name yeah. would humble themselves yeah. and then turn from their wicked yeah. ways yeah. then will I hear from heaven yeah. Healing is available to you. Yes. Yes, God. He'll heal you. Hallelujah. But do you want to adhere yes. to the conditions of your upbringing? Yes. Yes, God. The condition is holiness. Yes. The condition is righteousness. Yes. The condition is a changed life. Yes. The condition is dropping that 40. Yes. The condition is leaving that man a good fool that you're not married to. Leaving that woman alone that you're not married to. Yeah. Get married! Yeah. Let go of that marijuana. Yeah. Let go of that medication that doesn't have a prescription. Yeah. The condition your upgrade to Jesus. Jesus. It's a clean heart. Yes. Righteousness. Yes. Holiness. Which no man mm. shall see. God. Are you ready to see him? Are you ready to accept him in the pardoning of your sins? Are you ready? Or are you just going to stay angry in your excuses? Stay angry in your condition. It's a trick of the enemy. I love that. My great grandmother, Grandma Michelle, who's in Lucinia, she would say, it's a trick of the enemy. <laughs> Y'all drive me up a wall. It's a trick of the enemy to keep you where you are. He doesn't want you to accept what God died for you to get. It's paid for. Your 
what grade is paying for. I was using this as an example. I got to pay. Amen. But I get a discount. God gave us a free upgrade yeah. with his blood shed on Calvary's cross. Yeah. It's free. Your freedom is free. Your freedom is free. Your freedom is free. Take it. Take it. Let go. Let go of everything. And hold on to God's unchanging hand. He's waiting just for you. Father, we thank you. We thank you today for the understanding and the dissemination of your word this day. Lord, we thank you for every soul that hears this word today. Lord, we know that you're not partial in your ways, nor are you partial in your judgment. Lord, we thank you for the very opportunity that you've given us to suffer with you forever in heaven. Lord, bless us right now to be accepted to your will. Bless us, deliver us from evil. God, we want to be in your kingdom, God. Oh, Father, heal our minds, heal our hearts right now, right where we are. There's somebody right now, right where you are, you're wanting to accept a difference in your life. You've been holding on to your sin. You've been holding on to what the world says is okay, but God says is mine. Right now, let go. Let go. It's all right. Let go of what God wants you to let go of. For he's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. Mm, he doesn't want not one soul to die forever. You don't have to burn. You don't have to burn. You don't have to be depressed right where you are. You can have the joy of the Lord, which is your strength, coming in every cell of your body. If you accept Jesus right now, the pardon of your sins. If you accept him right now, the pardon of your sins. You're a changed person. You're a changed person. He's created you right now. Right now. A clean heart. He's created in you a clean So that you can share your testimony. There's no greater meditation for any circumstance but to share the glory of God in your healing. Right now, move by your spirit right now and touch the very heart of the healer where they are to be healed and healed for real. Oh, the sunset is real indeed. Pray the prayer of repentance. God has just set you free. You're no longer bound. It's time to be a deliverer. Go to the end of the text. And then teach the transgressors that you fellowship with. I'll share this last testimony. That one of the greatest blessings of my life after I was a party promoter. Yeah, pastor, promoted parties, and strip clubs, and all that. I'm telling you because I'm delivered. Hallelujah. To go back to the very places. The devil's house. This is God's house. But to go back to the devil's house, I almost want to drop a name Man. and share flyers to come to church. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Your purpose to go through what you've gone through, what you've just now, if you prayed the prayer, been delivered from, to teach the transgressors thy way. And sinners shall be converted yes. unto God. Yes. God bless you. I thank God again for the opportunity to come before you today. I thank God for Bible Way. Yes. Amen. I thank God for Apostle Thomas G. Mitchell. Amen. Amen. I thank God for Deacon and Brother Isaac and Sister Benny and my cousin Brother Howard, my cousin Chris. I want to claim her as a cousin. And in fact, I tell you, I thank God for the people of God. Amen. I thank God for the fellowship. Amen. Our time is limited here. God is not only up to something, the fulfillment of what he said was going to happen is happening now. 
So let's, for those of us that have already accepted Christ, be true, be honest, be fervent, and not fearful. Be consistent in your word. Pray without ceasing. Mm. And share the everlasting love of Christ Jesus. Yes, man. And encourage people to come. Yes, man. To him. To him. Yes. If they don't come here, give them Jesus. Amen. 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 We thank God. We thank God. Bishop. How many know that God is good? Amen. And worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. When I, I hear messages like that, it kind of stares my spirit. And I'll tell you the reason why it stares my spirit. Because we have so many other people and other ministries that are not standing up for holiness. Yeah, and in this last day, I think this is going to be, that's going to set our church aside. Yeah. Then just about every church I know of because they're tapping into everything but holiness. And the Bible said holiness is right. And so I, I pray in my desire for this ministry to really, 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 really grow. Yes. But we want to grow in holiness. We want people to live right. We want to be an example yes. to the world, to the city, to the state, that God has a church called Bible Way Temple that are standing up for holiness. Amen. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? To me, this is crucial. This is crucial because there, there are not enough people standing up for what is holy. Yes, right. What is holy. And so that's that's my sentiment. And so when he preached that, I couldn't help but say amen. Because that's what's going to set us aside, y'all. Not because because you can have dynamic speakers, you can have deep speakers, you can have them that can just shout the walls down. Yes. But who going to live holy? Amen. Amen. It, it reminds me of Joshua. Y'all remember what Joshua said? He said, for as me and my house, house yes. we're going to serve the Lord. That's right. I'm the type of man of God, and I guess I'm, I'm cut from the best, Bishop Carl Mitchell. I believe in holiness. Amen. I believe if you say, you ought to act like you say. Amen. Come on, are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Yes. We got too much mess in the body of Christ yes. where people are trying to build their church on what's popular. Amen. Well, I want to build it up on holiness. Yes. I want to build up, if you come in here, amen, you'll see people that are living holy. Yes. And demonstrating holiness. Yes, sir. Amen. Not just talking about holiness. All right. And if you look, I'm just saying, I'm being real. Yes. If y'all look around on television, on, on a lot of the social medias that we got now, and everybody's got their own thing going, and I ain't mad at them. But how many people, Dean Quinn, yes. is preaching holiness? That's right, man. That's right. Come on, how many folk is talking about God is calling us unto righteousness? Yes, yes. Come out of darkness. Yes. And you, the reason why, Pastor Carl, is the pastors are walking in darkness. Yes. Come on. How can you preach somebody out of darkness if you in darkness? That's right. Tell the truth. Yeah. Come on now, y'all. Yeah. Hear what I'm saying? Yes. Amen. Amen. And it ain't that I'm so holy, but it's the Holy Ghost that reigns in me that keeps my mind right. Because yes. I'm human too. If I walk any way out of the Spirit, yes. how many know the flesh will just rise up? Amen. Amen. That's why we got to pray every day. Lord, keep my spirit right. Yes. Create in me a clean heart. Yes. And every day, Lord, renew in me a right spirit. Yes. So that's what's going to set us apart, y'all, by the way. Come on. We're going to be a church to reckon with. Come on, huh? Because like, like Pastor Mr. say, there's going to be no shady booty up in here. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Brother James, ain't going to be that kind of stuff going on up in here. Right. And if it slip up in here, and I know it, that they slipped up and it won't come back in here again. That's right. Amen. I remember, y'all, come on, can I tell y'all this? I remember our church was so much stuck on the fact of living right. And I ain't gonna call no name, because y'all might know who this person is. But they came down front. Remember this, Brother James is gonna hit your mind. And do an offering time, and the deacons was raising off. Uh -huh. And this brother came and after now, they didn't tell him he wanted to be seen. After everybody gave their offering, he strolled up with him. <laughs> you remember? And he was plop, 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 oh, plop, yeah, plop, yeah. plop. 
throwing those pulleys and hundreds down. And, and I, I was so happy that Bishop Carl Luther King looked at the niggas. They knew what to do. Yeah. Hey Amen. I know what happened. Yes. They took that money back out of the offering. That's right. It yeah, they did. I, I know. I ain't saying what I heard. I'm talking about what I know. Yes. And they gave it back to brother. That's right. That's standards. That's holiness. Yes. But some folks just, hey amen, they, they would take their money and ran with it. Uh -huh. Come on now. And I'm just saying the body of Christ got to have a standard yes. of holiness. Yes, Lord. I ain't mad at Black Lives Matter. I'm, come on, because I'm black. But listen, God matters more than the black lives because we all got to see Jesus. Yes. And at the end of the day, we all yes. part of the blood. Yes. Come on. Right. Amen. Amen. Your blood is red like mine. Come on. So it's important that the church will remain open. That's right. The church, yes. the body, yes. remain the fact of who we are. Yes. We've been brought for the price. Right. Come on. Yes. Glory. All right. We shut up. Amen. Yes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Yes. Come on. That's what's going to make our church great. Yes. That's what's going to be. People gonna have this to say about Bible Way. One thing I can say: yeah, Bible Way pastor and members are living right. Yeah. Somebody clap your hands, get that. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Mitchell. We appreciate. It. Come on, let's give him another hand. Amen for amen. preaching out of his heart. Amen. So amen. glad we're not gonna keep you any longer. Amen. We are just happy uh, to be in the house. Amen. Don't forget uh, for those of you. Uh, as y'all know, bills are still needed to be paid in the house. Come on. Amen, Amen, Deacon. I know yeah. Sister Marie High School somewhere around here. And Sister Ellison, they say, Amen, Deacon. <laughs> and so we thank God that our head is above water. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. And amen. Amen. And so we're still contemplating the blessings of God. Yeah. So continue to pray for us, you all, that God will continue to do and move by His Spirit. I'm so glad to have my daughter back. She's the first time she's been in the house. Amen. Amen. Uh, since we opened back up, Sister Christina Amen. Mitchell. God bless you, sweetheart. Amen. All right. Uh, pray for us as we continue to do God's will. Let us stand. And we're going to be dismissed and let everybody go. Amen. Those that are you that uh, on our uh, social media phone call, Amen. We, we, we call it prayer line so often, but uh, we thank God for all of you that are on the line. Uh, I don't know how many folks that are actually on. Amen. Oh, I see the list right now. Amen. We're thanking God for each and every one of you. Amen. Amen. We're praying that God will bless you right where you are. And uh, let's pray for the sick and shut Amen. Amen. Let's remember that. It's a tough time. I thought about my brother uh, yesterday, Brother Carl. I, I gave him a call and the phone just rang, 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 rang. I'm like, oh, Jesus, let him answer, Lord. Yeah. Hey, man, it just rang, rang, rang. You know what? I almost want to run down and grab him and bring him back here. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Because I miss him. Hey, Amen. And I want to make sure he's doing well. Yeah, man. And so I'm going to keep reaching out to uh, my brother Carl. And so with saying that, we got a lot of people that are in senior citizen homes. Man. Amen. And uh, I just happened to go out and see Sister Rivers last Saturday. And uh, she was doing so much better than she was Man. the previous time. Man. So we're praying for those. And so and we're asking our church to remember them in prayer. Amen. Man. You never know. It never right, Sister Mitty, what a person is going through. Man. Come on, when you're sick, when your body's ailing. Yeah, yeah. Come on, am I right, Sister Pauline? Man. When your body's ailing, Amen. You need somebody to pray for you. Come on. Amen. So continue to pray for them. Let us lift our hands to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you first of all for the word of God. We thank you, oh God, for what the word is telling us, oh God, that we must do. And we're going to govern ourselves according to your word. Now, God, I pray, I pray that you will bless each and every person under the sound of my voice. Let this week be a prosperous week. Let this week be a week that will bless us as never before. 
And God, we'll be careful to give your name all the glory, all the honor that's already done. Yes. In the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and everybody say, Amen. Amen. Listen, don't forget about next Sunday. We got a special guest. Amen. Amen. Prophet Omar Griffin will be here. Amen. Amen. Let's be here on time. Let's have a great service on next Sunday. All right. Shake hands with brothers and sisters. We love you in Jesus' name.